Welcome back guys to another Age of Empire 3 Definitive Edition video here on my channel and today we have a very special ranked matchup so we have Kinesi go against GG Revnak Kinesi one of my favorite players so he's currently on rank 19 and he is going with the Inca and on the other side GG Revnak um, is very high on the ladder again so he is on rank 3 and he's going with his favorite civilization with the Brits and um, then we have uh, or we are playing on the map Gold Coast where we have a little water pond on the north and then the big water pond in the south with the three trade post um, water trade routes and then we have in the water pond we do have two little islands with 5000 coin mine and a treasure on each and um, yeah without further ado let's jump into the game so GG Rabnak is starting off with a trading post here on the waterline and then he's going with the manor house and the rest of his villagers are all on food. On the other side Kinesi starting off with a dock and produce or starting to produce some fishing boats and here is going for a 35 food treasure now also building a Kancha house. Very good. And now we see um, the first card for GG Revnak is the three settlers card. And uh, yeah, I just saw that this deck is called Inkaya Karzi 2. So maybe this is a special deck against the Incas. Uh, yeah, I really think that could be a special answer for the Inca opponent. Let's check out the rest of the deck. So we also have the Virginia Company card, which increases the uh, cost for uh, manor houses by 35%. And then in H2, we have the five settlers, six and seven on coin and wood cards. And then we have all the, um, the uh, musketeer and grenadier cards. So we have the damage, hit points, as well as combat card for them. As, and then also the same for the cavalry. So also all the three cavalry upgrade cards um, are in his deck and then in h3 we also do have the 1000 wood 1000 coin cards the 10 longbowmen and then also the longbowmen range increase card and there also i see um, the royal mint card which increases the the coin rate for all the gather rates and then we also do um, see the refrigeration card so we'll just gather all food faster and then in h4 we have the three rockets and the two factories and he is shipping the um, virginia company card right after his three villagers and then if we switch over to the inca player um so it's called Ter ff so Ter is uh, french i think and it means uh, land so he's going for a land fast fortress strategy and um he's starting off with the three villagers and then he does have in h2 five villagers seven on the coin the ranged infantry attack card the six jungle bowmen the kurare card so the poison increase and then uh, the ranged infantry hit points card so uraka ola warriors and jungle bowmen all get 15 percent more hit points and we do have the one cast support card for 250 coin you get uh, one covered wagon as well as one war hut travoy and your um, build limit of town centers is uh, increased by one and then we do have the canary support for 500 coin you get eight plumped spearmen and the range of fire is reduced by 20 percent for them and um, in h3 we do see eight villagers two town centers then a lot of Hurakas and then the melee infantry combat card. And then in H4 we do see the Clouds Warriors, so Jungle Bowmen and Shumo Runners can use Stealth. And then the high ground of Inca buildings grant them additional line of sight and attack. So this is the high ground card. And then we also do have the Terrace Farming card. So villagers gather resources faster from farms and estate um also just a very good economy card to uh 
go to the le uh, late game and now we see can you see going up with the uh the wise woman and he's going up with 19 villagers so uh, a bit of a also a late age up for uh Kinesi. and if we switch over to gg revneck he went up with the naturalist and he's now really going for the manor house boom so already been hit, building up his fifth manor house then on the other side Kinesi. um Already produced for fishing boats. And they get her with a get rate of 0 0.67 wood per second. Other manor house going down here a little bit uh, further away from the town center. So maybe a good choice. To increase his line of sight. And another main house is now being built. So we, I think here's another one planned. So I think he really wants to gain map control. And now, um, Kinesi aged up, and he got these uh, three priestess from it, uh, from the age up. And now we see he is going 47 out of coin card, so a typical card that you send in in age 2. If you want to go um, to the Fortress 8 age uh, fast. And then GG Revenant on the other side is going for the uh, 600 wood but he already sent in the 700 wood and that's why or well, that's because he does have the trading post so he's able to send in more shipments yes. and here we see Knisi found a villager who is building up these houses here Ready. and um but Knisi is not co committing to it he already lost one uh, uh just key. Ready. At the same time, trying to herd in all these gazelles and securing these hunts. And now he's starting to produce some longbowmen. Kinesi on the other side uh, is housed right now, so he's building up a Kancha house. Yeah, also a barracks went up. More manor houses being built. Also, a little wall is going down here to uh, close up this choke point. And now we see um, Knisi going to the third age with the messenger. Let's check out Revnak. He is not going up so far. But he's now getting the hunting dogs upgrade as well as the gangster upgrade. And he's now shipping in the five settlers. And Knisi keeps producing fishing boats. You'll see a little fight. And he just killed. The explorer and now uh, throws a spear like uh, Leonidas from 300 um, and they just killed the longbow man there and now we see the next shipment coming in we have the Manchu Pichu card this one over here so you get uh, one stronghold Travoy but he just cancelled it and he is going for the two town center travois instead of it. On the other side, GG Revnak getting a batch out of five 
Longbowman here. And he's also researching the Steel Traps upgrade. And he's really doing a good job here securing all these funds here. And now we see the first offense move here for GG Revnik. And he's going for a Pikeman Longbowman composition, unit composition. And he's attacking the very tanky explorer from the Inca. So called or he's called Chaska. Solo tanky, so he has 1250 HP and right now I think he's in stagger mode. So he gets he has 30% uh, melee resist, 50% range and uh, artillery damage uh, resist. So very crazy stats here. And here two uh, Jasqui are now burning down this manor house, but uh, I think they are just more being annoying than doing any real damage. And now we see the next shipment coming in for uh, GG Revnak. I think he saw that Kinesi is already up and so he has to get up by himself very soon. Now we see the two town centers going up for Kinesi that he just sent in. Maybe I have to say that I um, have seen um, this week a ranked matchup between Kinesi and uh, 37001231213 and it was the same matchup so Kinesi was playing the Inca and uh, so Number was also playing the Brit and he also produced or Number only produced a Longmon, Longbowman and Pikeman and this, really, this uh, unit composition really... Um, made Kinesi struggle, so it looks like uh, GG Revnik is doing the same here. Um, yeah, or maybe it is originally the strategy from GG Revnik and Number just copied it. But uh, we have to see if it's going towards this direction, but uh, more Longbowmen in queue, so very likely that we will see something like that. And now we see the strong Elite Horaka um, doing good damage against these pikemen. And don't forget those Horakas do uh, um, siege damage. So both these units don't have uh, armor against that. And uh, yeah. GG Revnak just burned down this uh, dock and I think he realized that um, uh, Kinesi is going for kind of a water boom. So he built a uh, dock by himself and he is now producing a caravel. So maybe he wants to clean this little water boom up. And here GG Revnak is um, able to push Kinesi back for the moment. Can you see already put the second caravel in queue? And he's going for the 600 coin card now. So he's not going for any military upgrades at the moment. So he went for 700 wood, 600 wood, and then five villagers, and then 700 coin, 600 coin. And he is still not going up. Looks like he's committing to H2. And the GG Revnek is now 3k score ahead. So we see uh, a little advantage here for uh, Revnek. And here we see the first caravel doing its damage here. Uh, putting damage onto these fishing boats, doing its job. And uh, Gigi Rapping is also leaving his units here on uh, the shore side to uh, deny any more dogs going up. And he's also researching um, the next coin upgrade here. 
Amaljamation. And then let's switch over to Kinesi. So he has a lot of villagers in production. Now we see the longbowmen trying to attack these Hurakas. And now we also see a batch of Pi Fasal coming in. And Kinesi is now also going underneath the town center. So he's really going in and trying to attack these Hurakas. And here the Prisress is healing these Hurakas. It looks like GG Revenue is in a little bit difficult spot because but he has more units, but uh, with the help of these priestess, uh, priestesses, he is losing more units than he is killing. So he's backing up for the moment. But can you see almost lost all of his Urakas? I think just two left. And he is now researching the placer mines. Switch over to GG Revnek. He's now also going up. And he is going up with the bishop. And still he is uh, producing longbowmen. And uh, now he decided to go for a little water boom by himself. Now that he cleaned up the water completely. It looks like Kinesi is not uh, aiming to... Uh, get it back or to fight for the water I think he just accepted it and now he's planning to uh, wall himself the longbow men are walking towards the middle of the map here now we see also a dock going down here on the little water pond but uh, keep in mind GG Remnick there's just uh, 3000 fish here so not that much But maybe he wants to put down a, uh, a frigate or something like that. GT Revnek is reinforcing his army here. More longbowmen joining the army. Kinesi on the other side is, uh, is just booming. I don't know. He should probably uh, start producing some units. And the one villager who was trying to build up this wall was just being killed. Now, also the ones who are collecting or gathering food are being attacked. And uh, one uh, woman just died over there. And now we see um, two Ukara here. Going up, defensive buildings, strong defensive buildings, where uh, he can uh, put his military units in there to save them or to put them in a secure spot. Now the next shipment is coming in for Kinesi and he's sending in the Chicha Brewing Cart. So uh, the brewing of Chicha beer significantly increases the food production of Kancha houses. So Kancha houses altogether food work rate for food um, is increased by 60 percent so very strong boomy kind of totally card here and now we see he's also going for more kancha houses and now we see a, a covered wagon for gg revnek and he's placing it very in a very forward position here but he cancelled this one and is now pulling it down here but still it's a uh, forward town center and now we see the next shipment coming in two falconets
And now, we, interestingly, we also see um, more tarts in queue. One for a moment. Also, the veteran longbowman upgrade is being researched. So, Chopper 2 can you see now he's producing some units. So, Hurricas and uh, Chimu runners. And also, the monumental architecture card is coming in. So, buildings get 45 hit points and town center. Um, Town center increase their damage by 35%. So another defensive play card. So these Pukara boards here are now 8700 HP strong. And uh, with these Purakas, he already killed or the, uh, deleted his town center. But he was already attacking it. When it was uh, going up so remember you do more damage to a building when it's going up still and now we see a batch of five motards being placed down and i think they're going for this ward and kaboom it just went down and is now right clicking the the fort here and they are doing good damage um Kanisi is now trying to attack these motards but uh, the assars are now coming to connect and uh, yeah this this raft just went down also the second raft went down so he has no uh, chance to save these elite hurricanes and they get just picked up completely um, and now we see also a big big um, advantage on the scoreboard so 27,000 towards Kinesis 19,000 and um I guess Kinesi just had enough and resigned here. Um, GG Ravnik pulling off a very, very strong um, manor house boom here for with the Brits. And uh, I think he really uh, perfected his game with the British civilization. Even though the uh, strong considered Inca and very tanky Inca civilization um, was going down or had no chance. Um, so, uh, yeah, interesting game here, um, from GG Revnek and, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.